celebrating summer with Good Day Live. Welcome back, everyone. I'm so happy today to be talking once again about the Little Italy Festival because we're celebrating summer in Clinton, Indiana. We wrap that up today, and we wrap it up with a young lady who I had the privilege of emceeing this year's festival pageant, and I know how wonderful Blythe Heber is. <laughs> Blythe, welcome to Good Day Live. Thank you so much. Truly, it was an honor to see you crowned with the crown of grapes and be this year's great queen. So for you, what does it mean to be in this position? It means a lot to me. I actually remember as a kid, I would go to the festival every single year with my grandparents. Um, I remember decorating the golf cart and making our costumes to go and ride in the parade because who doesn't love throwing candy as a little kid? <laughs> it's just as much throwing it as it, it's just as much fun throwing it as it is catching it. Sure. So it's just something I've always really loved. The parade is the big kickoff, if folks don't know, on Friday leading up to Labor Day weekend. It's one of the many events that have become tradition. What are some of your favorite traditions when it comes to the festival, though? My favorite traditions are the parade that starts at 6 o'clock on Friday, um, September 2nd. And then my other favorites are definitely the grape stomping, yeah. which we actually added a few different grape stomping today, this year. Oh. We have a couple of them done at the wine gardens and the maid stage. So now instead of just two, we have four. So people will have the opportunity to see this great tradition more than just in the one space, which is usually at the main stage. And grape stomping, as you're seeing right here, it is one of the favorites. People love to be able to see it and in some cases participate. Now what about you? Are you going to be doing some grape stomping this year? I sure will. I will be at all of the grape stomping events this year. So make sure you come out to stomp grapes with me and you will also get a button that says I stomp at a grapes. Oh la la la. Very good. <laughs> Those are the Italian singers we're seeing right now. Another great tradition is really the Italian heritage. It's such an important part of what the festival is all about, right? It is, especially as someone who grew up in Clinton and who has a very strong Italian heritage. Um, we have so much that we love to share, and it's just kind of a good way for everybody to be Italian for a weekend. Uh, yeah, and, and wear their little kiss me, I'm Italian buttons, too. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> now, when it comes to festival food, I, I always say to people, when you go, you have to have spaghetti just because there's nothing better of course. than the real Italian <laughs> spaghetti. But do you have other favorites you recommend when it comes to making the stops for food? Of course, my favorite, there's actually um, a bagna cotta contest. Mm. So a lot of the locals are going to be making bagna. Um, it's kind of really greasy, but it's super, super good. A lot of butter is, and a lot of garlic. Yes, exactly. It is definitely one of the best things I've ever had. Um, my personal favorite is when my mom makes her Italian beef as well, mm. which a lot of people, I'm surprised, hadn't heard of Italian beef, but it's one of my all-time favorites. Well, this is an event every year that brings out a lot of people to enjoy the heritage, to enjoy the good food as we're seeing people partaking, but we want to let them know it also wraps up with the big fireworks show too, right? Yes, it does. And that's all on, is that Sunday or Monday? I believe it's Monday. Okay, so there you go. You can enjoy fireworks on Monday at the very end of all of this because who doesn't love a good fireworks show? Entertainment, daily, activities at the wine garden throughout. Um, you know, basically Labor Day weekend, if you don't make a stop in Clinton, you're crazy. And until we get to Labor Day weekend, here's the cool part. Tell them about your Facebook page because yes. you're doing some fun trivia leading up to Labor Day. I am. So here's our Facebook page. I have been making Fun Fact Friday posts every Friday, which I will be making my Fun Fact pri fi oh, Friday post uh -huh. for today later on this evening. Um, it's just a way for me to help share the heritage and the history of our town because a lot of people coming and visiting don't know all of those things, like the flags that are in Monument Square. Um, that celebrates all 13... 13 countries and immigrants that have come to Clinton. And there it is right there. You timed that just perfect. There's the <laughs> post you made about that history. Keep up with Facebook with the Little Italy Festival and you can see more of Blythe's posts between now and Labor Day. Thanks for coming down. Thank you so much for having You're me. You're going to be an amazing queen and I know the weekend is going to be very special for you. Yes. Thank you so much. And a big out shout out to your mom and all of the crew up at Pilsen <laughs> yes. in Clinton because we know they're watching right now. She did a great job. You got a great young lady. Thanks, Blythe. Thank you so much. The Queen of Grapes here today as we wrap up celebrating Clinton. And stay with us because we've got more to come on Good Day Live.